Hi everyone, long time no see. I do apologize for the lack of videos. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, I recently announced that I am having a baby. And so I have just been feeling extremely tired and fatigued over the past couple months and just haven't had the energy to film anything. So I do um, miss you guys and I do apologize for the absence but yeah it is what it is i actually filmed a vlog the other day vlog style video where i talked about how i maintain my hair because i actually re-dyed my hair yesterday blue and i've had questions in the past as to how i do it so i finally filmed it and the microphone was off and it was really annoying so i'm going to use clips from that now i i would like to say that my hair has been professionally bleached and colored previously and this is just my process of maintaining the color. So if, you know, you obviously haven't got bleached hair or anything like that, this is not really gonna work for you, but if you have got bleached hair and you are able to, your hair is able to absorb the color, then hopefully this will help. Black hair is really hard to bleach to the right color, so that's why I do get it professionally done. And if you are looking to have colored hair and you have a similar hair color to me I would suggest unless you're an expert with bleaching and everything to go to a salon and do it because it is hard and I had to actually get my hair bleached twice in one sitting to get it light enough so that the color could show up true to color I retouch my hair maybe once every two months I probably like to do it once a month if I had the energy to do it so you would have seen in videos my hair gets lighter and lighter and lighter and fades pretty much to gray because when I got my hair dyed, my colorist, Mei from Mizun Sumiki, she's amazing. I always recommend people to go to her and I have several friends that do. She's really, really good what she does. Um, she actually put a gray kind of toner on top of it. So when it fades, it doesn't fade to that weird yellow color. It fades to a kind of nice gray. So it doesn't look absolutely awful when it's super faded. In my vlog, I showed that I use Arctic Fox. I also like Lunar Tides. Those are two indie brands and I buy them online. I believe there are now Australian stockists. I'll leave them in the description bar below if I can find them. And I also use a pastelizer and I mix the color to get the color that I want. I like this kind of denim navy blue color. That's the color that I try and aim for when I'm retouching my hair. So I mix black um, blue and the pastelizer to get that color and um, it's kind of trial and error at first when you're finding the right color that you want that works for you um, because I'm not necessarily wanting a, a bright full-on bright royal blue I like a little bit more coolness to it that's why I add the black to give it more depth and add the pastelizer just to pastelize it okay so then once I've got the color and it's looking great, it's looking like the color I want it to look like on my hair. I will then go and just wet my hair under the shower, towel dry it, and just make sure that it's not full on dripping wet. The reason why I do wet my hair before dyeing, I know some people do dye straight on to dry hair, which is fine. The reason why I do it on wet hair is because when I'm dyeing wet hair, I find that it goes on less patchy, plus you end up using less product. Um, so that's kind of a plus for me, although in that video, I did just have so much dye left over. I was just slathering it on. So what I did was after I towel dried it, I just brushed my hair to make sure it's all straight because my hair has been chemically permed. So it does have some waves in it, but naturally my hair is slightly wavy, but not as wavy as it was when it's permed. Um, so I just brushed through my hair just to make sure all the kinks are out of it and everything. And then section by section i'll take a piece and then go over it with the brush and then rub it in lather it in make sure it's full on absorbed into my hair before moving on to the next section and of course ideally you'd have clips so you can clip it up but you know i'm not that organized and i'm not that professional or perfectionistic so i'm fine with just having it kind of dangling around and also i don't have a ton of hair and uh yeah i would recommend also when you're dyeing your hair just to have newspaper or something black or dark just to make sure if any dye gets anywhere it doesn't stay in your bathroom because let me tell you if you do stay in your tabletop it can be a little bit annoying to get out 
I like to use bicarb soda and also toothpaste. Some, for some reason helps actually get the stains out. Now, another thing that you might wanna do, especially if you're dying closer to the roots and closer to your face is to take some Vaseline and just slather it on the parts of your face that you might get done. Cause you would have seen in that video, I had blue splotches on my face, but honestly I was just, couldn't be bothered. But you know, if you do want to take that extra step just to make sure you don't get any stains on your skin, I would recommend putting Vaseline around the edges. Otherwise you'll have to really remove it pretty quickly um, once it's on your skin because otherwise it will stain it. Not forever, but it will, you will see the stain. I would recommend, you know, getting a wipe, you know, makeup remover and just getting it off your skin as soon as possible. But the darker the shade, you know, it's going to be pretty obvious on your skin. So after that was all done, you know, pretty much use all the dye all over my hair, slather it in, massage it into the roots, into the hair. I just pretty much left it in, like tied it up and just left it for about half an hour. Um, I think most hair dyes will recommend half an hour. If I actually have more time, I will leave it in longer, maybe one hour, one and a half hours, just so it can fully absorb in my hair. But that day I didn't have that much time. So I just left it in for half an hour. Um, and then after that, I ran it under water just so that all the dye comes out, all the excess dye comes out. You will see the water is coming out pretty, you know, blue in the shower. Once it starts kind of um, looking like it's less dye runoff, then shampoo and condition. Once I've washed it, conditioned it out of the shower, would recommend using dark towels and a dark pillowcase because you might see that there is some um, staining. At least, um, you know, for the next couple of washes, you might find that there's still a bit of excess in your hair. So, yeah, I mean, um, after I did that, pretty much just put some heat protector on my hair, blow dried it, and this is the result. I'm really happy with the result. I think it turned out really nicely. You know, I've been mixing these colors together for quite a while, so I kind of know what color to expect and what color I like, so what kind of blue I like. So yeah, I mean, that's the whole process. It does take a bit of time, at least half an hour, but also to get the hair and everything on. I mean, it's usually about an hour and a half, the whole process. So it does take some time out of you. When I am lazy and when I just do, I'm time poor, but want to refresh my hair, I do use uh, this brand called Overtone. It is a colored conditioner. And so it's kind of like a temporary, you know, band-aid when my hair is looking really faded and just the color is looking terrible. Those things are good as well, but of course they're not going to last as long as a proper hair dye. So, um, you know, how long it lasts will depend on how often you take a shower and, um, how porous your hair is and you know how often you use heat styling tools on it because if you're doing all that the color is going to fade a lot faster so for me this will last me decently for about a month because i only do wash my hair you know max twice a week and i don't use any i don't usually blow dry my hair or anything like that only when i'm wetting my hair anyway i think that's all i want to cover today i don't know if you have any other questions please let me know anything to do with coloring hair ask in the comments down below and I'll get back to you. And yeah, hopefully you found that interesting. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thanks for coming back and I hope to see you in the next one.